Hello everyone. My name is Dhananjay Reddy Manne. I am part of Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this presentation, we will be going through how to test external connectivity to Databricks Delta databases using JDBC drivers from the Secure Agent mission. Moving on. Today's agenda is why do we need to test Databricks Delta connection externally? Steps to perform demo. Moving on. Why do we need to test Delta connection externally? Sometimes the test connection is failing from the Informatica and there is no proper error message in the logs. In those cases, we can do external test to find if the connection is working externally or not. Moving on. Steps to perform. Download the attached JDBs, J dbc databricks.java and spark jdbc 42.jar like this will be attached in the kb i will share the kb link um in the description create a folder in the secure agent machine in the path where there is full access copy both files into that folder that i have done moving to the demo parallelly yeah i have already inside a folder and i have placed the two files Next step is at line edit the Java program at line number 12 provide the JDBC string that is used as a SQL endpoint string in the Delta connection. Let me go to the Java program. Let me set number. Yeah. Now at line number 12. As you can see at the line number 12, I have given the string, uh, provide the JDBC connection string that I have given here. Next at line number 16, modify the query according to the table use. It is used to add one column in the select statement. Example, select the name from the source, the name present in, the, in a column present in a table named source. Like I, I am selecting like at line number 16, you can see select start from the source one. I'm selecting all columns from the source one. Next at line number 28 and 30, replace the column in rs.guessing to name and the output print ln to name with the column name in the table from the table 28 and 30. 28 or 30, I have given uh, the name and 30 also I have given the name. Like the my column name is name in the table, so I have given the name. If your column name is different, you need to specify that column name here. Like in my DB, the column name is name for the uh, source one. Yeah. name is the column name in the selected tables at the step b in the line 61 yeah save the program and compile it as follows uh, let me save the program the program is saved now we can compile it at info home jdk bin java c jdbc databricks.java and this is my info home bin this is my inform jdk and this has been java c and i am compiling the program let me uh, copy the compiling command let me run the compiling command as you can see the program has been compiled and it has generated a class file now we need to once the compile successfully execute the following command to run the program now i will run this run the command yeah i have run the command like it will first do the connection and it will fetch the column which we have specified in the query from the table and it will display here and then it will close the connection. Let's wait uh, like it is trying to fetch now. Yeah, as you can see, like this is my first row in the column name in the source one and it has closed the connection. 
In this way, you can perform the test connection externally. Moving back, your yeah, demo I have already covered. Uh, you can go through this KB article for those Java file and the driver. Uh, this I will attach in the reference section. We would like to hear from you on our social media handlers. Please give us your valuable feedback over there. Thank you all.